So this might be the coolest plumbing thing I've ever done. We're actually gonna build an air cannon and see what all we can shoot out of it and what all we can destroy. Now, it's really simple. We're starting with two inch steel pipe, a valve, an air inlet and a reducer. Now, we've got some things going on. So we've got some steel balls lined up. We got some Play-Doh. We got some cool stuff to shoot out of this, but we're gonna go ahead and put this thing together. Now, we're having another piece built to do something really cool later, but this is what we're starting out with just to see what it'll do and how it works. So first thing I'm doing is I know that I want all these joints to be tight. So we're gonna go ahead and put Teflon tape and pipe dope because we want everything secure. We want everything tight so nothing leaks. No, we don't lose any air. All right, so you saw us build the air cannon. Now you're gonna get to see us shoot some stuff. We've got a target built up. We've actually got a poop emoji we're aiming at. We got some different things in here from Play-Doh, potatoes to stainless steel balls. We're gonna see what we can do and what we can turn up today. So let's start off with the Play-Doh. And as you see, I made me a little pusher. So we can push it all the way back up in there. We've got an air compressor here. As you see, we've aired it up to 30 PSI. Now that's all this gauge goes to. Later, we're wanting to shoot stuff at 50 and 100 PSI. I will get another gauge, but right now, just starting out, we thought we'd play with 30 PSI and see what we can do. Y'all ready? Here we go. Okay, now, we didn't prop everything up very well, but guys, that was a piece of Play-Doh at just 30 PSI. So as you see, it flattened that Play-Doh out pretty good. We'll make another ball out of it. We'll try again, see if we can do it better. All right, so we got the Play-Doh in there one more time. We're gonna see if we can hit the target a little more dead center, see what happens. Here we go. Okay, again, man, it's hammered it out pretty good, but let's put something else in there and see what happens. Okay, so earlier playing this, we tried a Clementine out, it's actually pretty cool. So we're gonna try that again. Okay, now it's tight because we don't have a bleeder back here. So as I push it back, the air pressure is building up back here. So I've probably got it about Right here, we're gonna go ahead and shoot that out and see what it does. You, you okay, so you've seen Play-Doh, you've seen a Clementine. Remember the old potato guns? Well, now we're gonna try a potato. I have potato blood in my veins. My life, it's potato. <laughs> all right, now that actually pushed all the way in, so this one ought to be good. All right, set it up again. Guys, we've had a lot of fun doing this. Please let us know in the comments down below at the end, what is your favorite thing that we shot or shot at? And if you haven't done it yet, please remember to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Yes, we're gonna try a can of WD-40. And it's not quite big enough, so what I'm doing, I'm kind of putting a layer of tape on each end just to help the air seal off behind it. That way, when it shoots out, the air doesn't go around it, it actually pushes the projectile out. All right, so this one's gonna be a little bit crazy. We don't know what's gonna happen. We've got a 
can of WD-40 in there. We put tape around each end to kind of help seal it off. We've got it pushed all the way in, and I took it up way over 30 PSI. Now, not good for the gauge. I don't recommend this at home. Matter of fact, do not ever try anything like this at home. This is stupid. I'm standing in front of carbon steel pipe, pumped up to 40 something PSI. Look, I've been in commercial plumbing. I've done this before, but this is not anything you want to try at home. So ready? Let's go. Tell me when you're ready. It bent the can up, hadn't ruptured it, and I'm almost, probably shouldn't be holding it, but. All right, so the WD-40 can was so much fun, we're gonna do it again. I pushed it all the way back up in there, kept the pressure out a little high again, so let's see what it'll do. <laughs> little pieces blew off. Okay. So that was a lot of fun. All right, we're gonna try a couple more things real quick, but uh, I gotta put some stuff together. So what I've done is I've made a special little projectile. This is inch and a half PVC with inside caps. We've glued the test caps on it. Now these are not made for pressure, but there's no pressure inside these. So this is just a projectile, but we're gonna see what we can do with it. All right, now we really don't know what's gonna happen. This steel ball's heavier than anything we've shot. We've taken it almost up to 40 PSI. We're gonna stick it in. And this ball is not of diameter. It's not gonna fill the pipe. So a lot of air is gonna come around it. We don't know if it'll go all the way, but we at least wanna try. So as you see, we propped up the foot a little bit because it was kind of tilted down. We we're having a problem with the ball. So now we're gonna stick it in there. So this will even be the either be the best one or the worst one. That's what I was afraid of. All right, so we've done the little powder canisters at the target. Let's see what it'll do with the toilet tank. Now you definitely don't want to try this at home. Look, we've had a lot of fun today, but I worked with carbon steel pipe before, threaded, welded, the entire thing. I know my pressure rating is on everything. We did go a little over 30. Next time we're gonna go a higher gauge. That way we can take it up to 60, 80, 100 PSI. And hopefully by then, we find a way to shoot that steel ball and get a better result. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.